Hello Libra, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star, 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 and welcome to your reading. So Libra, this is your reading for the month of uh, September, and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa, and time is fluid. In this reading, Libra, we'll see what are the love messages you need to know, what are the general messages you need to know. There is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in the description box and comment section. So let's get started now. I'm shuffling the cards. I'll lay them down. I would appreciate if you hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below. Let's get started. So we have strength. We have the world, the queen of wands, three of pentacles, three of cups, three of wands, wow, a lot of threes over here, six of cups. The Knight of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, bottom of the deck we have Two of Swords. If I have to talk about the zodiac signs, I see Leo, I see fixed signs, uh, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. You're going to see a lot of 333, 333 or 33, 33, 30, yeah, uh, three, four times. Number six is also of some importance. Right. Libra, what is it that you need to know for the month of September? Hmm. I think so, Libra, in the past, you, whenever you, you used to meet someone, okay, and you used to feel like there is a certain potential in this person, maybe this person is not where he or she should be, but there is a great potential that a transition can happen in this person's life, and uh, maybe probably uh, you can help them to be uh, where they should be. So there were, in, in many cases, what you did was you kind of helped people change themselves. Uh, you kind of helped them uh, gain a new perspective. Okay. Um, you also sacrificed a lot to make people better in their lives okay uh but now what i see especially with the world card next to the strength card i think so you have come to this realization that there is no point in sacrificing your time your energy for others who are i mean for others i mean when you are especially trying to help them to better their lives, to better themselves, help them in the transition. You're trying to give them better perspectives about life and about situations. But you don't get any kind of acknowledgement or any kind of validation in return. And that kind of hurts you. Like people forget you right away. The moment they the, the change happens, the moment they see a different life, a better life, and that better life is happening because of you, but there is no sense of uh, gratitude or there is no validation or acknowledgement for whatever efforts you have put towards their life, okay? Uh, maybe you, you also guided a lot of people. You were a mentor for many. You have helped so many people in their life to rise up. But somewhere deep down, there is this dissatisfaction that no one has ever acknowledged whatever you have done. No one has appreciated that you are going out of your way and doing things for others. 
see at the end of the day we are human beings if we are doing something for others we also need at least words of a words of appreciation in return okay and that's that's natural to experience but you have never felt that from others and that is why your uh, desire to uh, do things for others is is kind of diminishing having said so it's it's not i i don't mean that you are you're not being kind to others okay but the only thing over here is you are kind of withdrawing your time energy uh, from other people's life okay you're minding your own business okay you're doing things which are only possible for you uh, in a limited scope you're not going above and beyond to help out others especially when you know that it's not uh, like like when you know that nothing is going to come in return and you will be left depleted okay so you are kind of moving away from this now you have done that a lot over the years and however you are moving away from uh from from this attribute of yours okay and what i feel is like actually focusing your uh, focusing time and energy on yourself withdrawing your time energy and emotion from emotion from others life and redirecting that towards yourself is actually giving you that much needed peace that you always and always wanted and what is going to happen because of that libra is that the more you redirect that energy towards yourself the more you start giving that energy time and energy and emotions to yourself the more you will start attracting right kind of people who will actually appreciate who you are who will validate your efforts i also feel like you are attracting someone special especially i do feel like you are attracting a soulmate in your life who will absolutely appreciate who you are who will absolutely recognize your efforts who will kind of be that strong support system for you okay who will kind of encourage you a lot motivate you a lot and this is going to be a huge surprise for you like you are not expecting an entry of any romantic partner in your life i think so you are very much happy with the way life is you are kind of content and satisfied that you have done lot of things for others you kind of content and satisfied uh, satisfied that you are doing things for yourself also and somewhere i also see there there is a growth that is happening in your life okay you are you're kind of slowly and steadily you're climbing the ladder of success you might be aware of it you might not be aware of it but the cards are indicating that you're actually climbing the ladder of success it is happening slowly and steadily so somewhere there is this satisfaction that you're doing fine in your life so whatever is going on in your life you you are not expecting a soulmate to pop up all of a sudden in your, in your life okay so the soulmate is going to pop up unexpectedly and unexpectedly both of you will fall in love with one another i mean the because this is a soulmate kind of a relationship six of cups is all about a soulmate card and this is a soulmate relationship both of you won't be able to stop one another from this relationship to happen this relationship will happen it is something that is meant to happen okay and i do see you developing a very strong bond with this person three of pentacles is indeed telling me that you will have very strong uh, foundations with this person the emotional bonding is going to be strong the understanding and the compatibility is going to be very strong so any kind of external force will not have that power to shake off this relationship I mean yeah I do see some jealousy coming towards uh, both of you because there is this intense chemistry the 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 bonding between both of you is so strong so I do see some jealousy coming towards both of you okay so but however like I told you nobody and nothing has the power to create any kind of rift between you and your soulmate the bonding is very very strong over here for some of you you are going to meet this person at work or through work 
okay or for some of you there is someone else who is going to mediate between you and this person like a friend might set a set up both of you on a date or your family members might set uh, set up both of you on a date so someone might mediate between you and the soulmate of yours okay three of cups is indeed telling me that it's going to be a good time the month of september is a month where you will enjoy whatever you're doing or you will enjoy whatever is happening in your life in your life there is a sense of satisfaction there is a lot of joy over here for some of you i also feel like you're going to catch up with old friends or old colleagues and uh i mean i'm also getting like the the knight of cups is also telling me it's an it's a card of apology or someone from the past coming back towards you for many of you i do feel like uh if there is a no contact situation between you and your friends or old colleagues or uh someone who was very important to you in the past and there is no contact situation with this person i do feel like this person is going to pop up in your life and there is a celebration that is happening that you guys are catching up after a real long time you guys are spending time after a real long time someone is coming towards you with an apology it can be an ex as well for some of you okay they will come towards you with an apology they they will make an offer but first of all you are not in that mindset of accepting your ex back and secondly the offer that they are going to make is not going to be appealing enough okay so anyways i don't see anything happening between you and your ex if at all your ex comes back uh another message i'm getting over your libra is that there is a wish fulfillment that is happening i mean the below spread is indicating that uh in a very strong manner that there is something a long pending wish is getting fulfilled i mean i also see celebrations over your three of pentacles is also telling me that there is something strong that you're building up okay three of wands is also telling me that there is something that is coming closer to you something that you wanted is coming closer to you so there is a wish that you always and always wanted to be fulfilled i think so that wish is getting fulfilled in the month of uh september for some of you this is going to be a wish related to your career for some of you this can be a soulmate wish as well you always wanted to be uh, wanted to get into a relationship with your soulmate if you need any kind of help from others do not hesitate in asking for help in the month of september if you need any help people will be there to help you out okay so don't have don't feel conscious oh how should i ask and etc etc no if you need help please pick up that phone call up your friends call up your family members even strangers might help you out okay i do feel like there is this energy where you will be surrounded with right kind of people at the right time okay so if you need any kind of a help say for example you are sitting in a coffee shop and all of a sudden you feel extremely uh, something hits you uh, a corner of the table hits you and you are hurt because of that and uh, you need help over there maybe you don't know a, a doctor might also be sitting on the next table in that coffee shop and that doctor will come rushing towards you and then they will do something okay they might apply some first aid or something and this person will be you know so what i'm trying to tell you over there is if you need help people will be there for you okay at the right time right people will be there for you in the month of september do not hesitate in asking for help I also see a lot of help coming towards you in your in your career and your in your professional life. Especially, I do feel like they are trying to push you towards whatever help is coming towards you in your career and your professional life. They are trying to push you towards your destined path, towards your destined success.
there are some cycles that are coming to an end especially i feel like if you were struggling around your health issues those struggles are coming to an uh, coming to an end if you were also trying struggling around getting over some sort of an addiction that is also coming to an end okay uh i do see that your health is going to improve a lot in the month of september you are going to have fantastic health in the month of september all right i hope this resonates hit like share and subscribe comment down below link for the extended is in description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you and action they will take towards you and likely conclusion between you and this person all right take care have a great time and bye bye this is your spread libra